How's it going, everyone? My name is Triple German, and welcome to A Wolf in Autumn. This is a game that I found on Steam, and let me tell you from the trailer, it looks amazing. The coloring and everything just blew my mind, <laughs> so I had to play this. And these are the other games that the developer had made, and I actually have this one here, the music uh, machine. And Finger Bones is also free. And I actually think I have this one too, the Moon Silver, but I'm not 100% sure. I would have to check my Steam account and everything, but I'm pretty sure I have that one too. But I'm gonna get right into it. And let's see what it's all like. What it's all about. He left the evening before, and as the sun flowed and followed another sleepless night. Her fury remained fear and pride. I am so proud, she thought, even now, if only because a lack of pride would emit the wasted years and make them real and give them power. That's long. I have tasted the poison and felt the need that suppresses all needs, and I sit here refusing to waste away while others, like me, sit in rotting houses or on rotting couches, staring blankly at blank walls, thinking and seeing nothing. And yet, men's eyes pass me on the street and judge from a glance, and I am so proud because I have lived more life than they will ever know, and lived it freely as a woman and seen the worst of its ruin, and I am so proud. Even now, and I am proud, I will remain until I am nothing at all. Well, that's even longer. I have seen the ruin and have pleasured myself with all and any, and I have no celebratory left or ambition in, or hope in a changed world, but this is how I have lived. And I am proud of it because the pride is the mark of a woman, in, and when life has burned to ashes, the pride will still remain. And when truth and faith and hope and certainty have burnt too, it will remain when I am nothing at all and the needless and nerve poison have finally sucked me dry and my daughter spits my name contemptuously. Oh my god, I can't even say the stupid word. Sorry people, I have certain words I can't say. Uh, it will not matter because I have lived more life than they will ever know and I have lived it as a woman and seeing its ruin and even when the pride cannot hide the wasted years and I know it was all for nothing and scream silently that it was all for nothing and despair that all the fucking and the pleasures and the pride were nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Even then, when the needles and the poison have sucked me dry and my daughter's, and my daughter spits my name, same word, sorry. I'm just not gonna try. And the pride cannot hide the wasted years, and the pleasured memories cannot drown out the screams. Even then, something somewhere we will know that I lived freely as a woman, and even in death I will be proud, and even when the world burns to ashes, they will know it still. Game by David Sitchinski. Hmm. So far, it looks pretty. Sounds like screaming, fighting. Pretty. Look at the wings, sweetie. Are they pretty? That is pretty. <laughs> A simple lock. The door seemed to be locked. Okay. What's this? An ice pick. These always scare me. They're so pointy. Oh, key. I need something to cut the string. Well, I did see some scissors here. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I have to drop it just to pick up the other thing. Alright, not bad. Ooh, oh my god, this is so nice. What is that? Sweetie, it's mom. Listen to me. This is very important. You need okay. to stay put. Don't leave the fenced in area. Don't go into the basement. Don't mess with that machine outside. Just don't go anywhere, all right? Stay in the shed and wait for me. There are some dangerous animals loose, and I don't want you to get hurt. Everything is going to be fine. Just do as I say. Mother, why are you like a fox thing? Why not come and say that in person? Seriously, that is so pretty. Holy crap. Okay, what's this? A brass panel held in place with odd square screws. Alright. And this game actually is like a puzzle too. So, I might get stuck. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So I hope it won't take me too long so this won't be, you know, long, a very long video. But if it is, I'll just cut a little bit so you don't have to watch me figure it all out. Wire cutters. Why do I have wire cutters? Okay, so I can only have one object in my hand. So, I guess I have to just do it one by one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, will this, will the wire cut a strip? Ooh, it does. Again! Ooh. Sweetie, you have to stop messing with things. I know you love to explore and play with machines, but this is for your own good. You won't be safe if you don't mind me and stay put. What do you mean I won't be safe? I mean, I hear wolves. Oh, I... Okay. I need something else? Those scissors, maybe? The scissors are too dull to cut the rope. You need something sharper. Okay, so I'll just put those down. Um, anything else? It seems to be locked. Okay, glass shard. Maybe this will cut that. Can I run? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Alright, cool. Kind of startled me. Oh, I have to put that down. Okay. You're disobeying your mother, Autumn. Disobedient girls get punished. Okay, so and I'm the Autumn. Trees have All right. many eyes. They see everything. They judge everything. And the wolves know too. And I know. Don't touch that machine. Stop getting into things. Don't you mean try my that machine? Are you talking about this machine, or are you talking about that, or something? Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I need this for anything else? I have no idea. Would the screwdriver open this? It did. Nice. Okay. What's that? The battery is rough to the touch with old coursing. Scissors again. A knife? I don't know why I would need a knife. Um. 
Wait, what is this? Oh, I... Okay, I have to put that down to see do this. Um... Okay. Do I need this knife for anything? I have no idea. But seriously, I can't get over how pretty this game is. I don't know what the glass shards are for though. And that battery? I have no idea. Okay. Flashlight! Oh! I solved the puzzle. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to actually solve the puzzle. Sometimes I'm not very good with puzzles. I wish I had the clothes on. It's really cold down here. Say what now? Really? I can't- oh. Okay, I couldn't see. Uh... What is that? I don't know. Oh. Flashlight! Hello. What part of don't go into the basement don't you understand? I've tried being nice, and apparently you're too stupid for nice. Hey! So get back in your little shed and wait there, quietly, until I decide what to do with you. Or do you want to die? Uh, no, I don't want to die. And don't call me stupid. I don't like that. Okay. Alright, what's in here? Syringe, another battery. I don't know what- what are those? I think it's a fuse. Do I need the fuse for something? Uh, wait. Oh! Hey, whoa. Okay. Nice, Wolfie? Or a dog? I don't even know what you are. I hear you. Uh, oh. Oh, I can't. Why? Why can't I do it? Okay. Um. So dark. More. What's in here? Okay, got a hammer. Alright, so... Will the hammer open this for me? Yes! Whoa, hello. Wow, it's dark. I need that, that flashlight. Give me that flashlight. Stop hallowing. Again. Do I have to pry off your kneecaps, you little shit? Do I have to nail your fucking arms to the floor? I will twist your legs off and break every bone in your ugly little body if I have to. I am your mother. You will obey me. Get back in your fucking cage. Holy crap. Way to startle me. Dude. Why do I have that? What do I need that for? Liars. I don't know. You can't do anything at all with your... What? I can't read that. I'm sorry, you guys. It's a little hard for me to read. Okay, um... 
I don't know why I would have to. God, that gets me every time. Dude. You're freaky. Another pick. Okay, I don't know if I need that for anything, but I'm gonna leave it there just in case. I wanna be able to know where everything is. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can use... No. The wrench. Maybe the wrench? Oh boy, I can't see. It's so dark. Okay. Oh, what is that? Okay. Anything in these? What is that? Syringe? Whoa, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. There's a flashlight. Uh. Oh. You gotta turn this? Okay, I don't know what that did. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Wait, what do, what do I have? Okay, those won't work. I doubt those would work. That wouldn't work either, probably. I can't go that way. Maybe I have to use this. Okay. It's gonna be pitch black, but maybe I can. Okay, I can't see. Give me it. Okay. All right. Let's let's try this again. Paint marks. Okay. So what can I use? The hammer, maybe? Ah, okay. Strange glass object. There is a square uh, right here, which I can't see now. So let me bring this over. Oh crap, it's so dark. Seriously, it's so dark. Okay, yeah. I did it. Okay. <gasps> oh, no, no, oh god. No, 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 no. No. <gasps> oh god. Oh no. Oh no. What did I do? What did I do? You didn't kill me? Wait, where am I? Okay. What? That's a lot of blood. Lighter? Why do I need a lighter? Oh, I can't see again.
I don't know why I would need that lighter, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe. Okay, nothing, nothing opened. Oh. Okay. You're a little bitch, you know that, don't you? A horrible little bitch. You're wasting time playing with electric motors while I slave my life away. Do you think I wanted you? I kept a wire coat hanger in the bathroom for months. Just to look at and think about. And all the teachers think you're so special. You aren't special. You're spoiled. Because I'm wasting my life giving you the things I didn't have. Your mother was sitting on the porch with the la with the hasty green paint, talking to the women with the short hair, smoke. Oh, sorry, you guys. I hope you were able to read at least a little bit of that. Your mother heard the screams and scattered out of the porch with the hasty green paint, arms punctured with holes, finding you curled up and dripping bread, blood. You look weird, Autumn. And you sobbing, spilling blood on the floor. The dog, my hand. You look weird, Autumn. <gasps> Whoa. I don't have my flashlight anymore? What? You told your mother the dog left those chipmunk parts in your room. It didn't. The dog didn't get those cuts from a fight. The dog didn't bite you on the road. The walls smell dank and feel moist. Oh. Hello. Oh. Made for two hands, but you managed to use them. Come here, boy, and the dog looking at you, knowing, slowly coming all the same, and you whispering so nobody else could hear. Come here, boy. Okay. I don't know if I need those for anything else. You'll wake up, and I'll still be there. This will all still be there. What lives deep inside Autumn's love and fury? No. A forest and a basement. Locked away and unconditional. And you can't let them both out. The world is a growling, grinding machine. And you can't escape its teeth without teeth to match. It devours little girls like you. Eats you up from the inside. Someday you'll know the meaning of ruin and wasted years. You'll have children of your own, and you'll understand. Wow, this is an endless you hall. Oh, look up. Without the howling wolves. Am I stuck here now? Hello, alarm clock. Whoa. So, I cannot recover the wasted years, or unknown the coming of the... Com Contemptuous spits in the final poison, or force my mouth to know what's in my heart, or stop all those words from spilling out, and instead say that I am your mother, and you are my daughter, and I love you, and I know this somewhere deep inside, but I cannot feel it past the screams and the wasted years, and the need that surpasses all other needs, and the ruin, and yes, even the pride, and I can't make the words stop spilling out, or stop the pain in your face, or force my mind to tell or force my mind to tell my heart what I know deep inside, and my mouth to speak for my heart and mind. But you are my daughter, and I love you, and I'm your mother, and somehow together we can leave behind the waste and the ruin and the screams and the poison and the pride. But then, a lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power, and even now I am a woman in something somewhere we will know, even me, after the world burns to ashes. And the needles and the point needles and the poison finally suck me dry and even after my daughter spits my name. Because what I know deep inside does not matter when I know other things on the surface in life is a grinding machine and a girl and a woman cannot escape its teeth through tenderness and even after I am nothing at all, my daughter will spit my name and know that her skin is the tough skin of an animal and she will face the ruin and the pleasure and the fucking and eventually the wasted years and the silent scream 
and the thing deep inside hidden from her heart and mouth, and through the words that spit out, and the thing too deep to know she will be a proud woman like me. And someday we will shake our fists together at Adam and the memory of their arrogant eyes and the pride to and proud to but and proud together too and something somewhere will know us in our ruin. As I sit here watching the uncounted empty empty needles and feeling the need that surpasses all the other needs and remembering the pleasures and drowning out the screams that was all for nothing and feeding the pride that will remain when the earth has burned to ashes. Autumn's alarm clock went off in the next room and the mother began to dry her tears. Autumn's eyes flew open, lying in her sleeping bag, clutching her stuffed out dolphin surrounded by the motors and parts that loved to tinker with letting the alarm continue to sound from its place in the opposite corner, staring at the ceiling, adjusting her thoughts and feelings. Missy emotions began to apparate with the dream that brought them. Awake now. Her mother walked into the room and leaned in on the door frame, looking. Are you awake? Her voice was weaker and softer than normal. Autumn was looking, too. After a moment, she said, I'm awake. All right, then. Get dressed. I'll make you lunch today. There's probably something in the fridge. I love you, Mom. Autumn didn't know what, why she said it. Her mother's mouth tightened and she blinked a few times. Then she nodded. I... She glanced away and nodded a few more times. All right. She looked back at Autumn and Autumn looked at her. And they looked at each other for some time. A wolf in Autumn, a troubled girl's nightmare. A game by David. Nice. Wow, this seriously... Wow. Seriously, this was this was really great. I really enjoyed this. Look at the wings. Are they pretty? Yeah, they are pretty. I don't think I should do get stuck too bad with the you know, the the puzzles. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, this was the end of this, and I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I did. And as always, thank you for watching, and peace out. Bye.